Hello and welcome to Minicom Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access the Reset and Advanced Startup menu options in your Windows 11 okay, PC. So, basically, to go to the Advanced Startup uh, menu options or the Reset uh, menu options, you would have to go to your system recovery okay your recovery um settings and then from there you can actually access the advanced startup main options or the reset uh pc option okay so how do we do that simply click on your start menu and then you go to settings Now, you may ask me why is this so important or what is the essence of doing this? Uh, basically, um, this could be useful, for instance, I don't know for whatever reason, but you should know why you are, you are doing this. Sometimes you want to reset your PC, meaning you want to delete all the files in your PC and then reinstall Windows, or you probably want to just uh, perform some automatic repairs, diagnostic and automatic repairs. Maybe if you have, if you notice that your Windows it doesn't boot well, or probably there is some kind of, um, uh, the Windows is not running well, okay? In my case, for instance, in Windows 11, sometimes when I op when I use it for some, a long, long number of hours, and then I, uh, like I notice that sometimes when I start opening the browser, the browser will start, uh, opening multiple times and in such a case I can just perform some system diagnostic and uh, automatic repairs so please let me know why you are doing this in the comment section so when you are here you simply click on um, system okay and then you scroll down and you will find uh, what is it you will find something like recovery. Okay, recovery is down here. So you simply click on recovery. Then when you click on recovery, as I said, now you have what? Your advanced startup option here, menu options, option here, options here. And then you also have what? The restart or reset this PC option. Like I said, if you really want to reset your PC, then here it is for you. If not, if it's just to restart, um, I mean, if it's to to perform diagnostic and automatic repairs, to do some troubleshooting, then you click on the advanced startup menu. So you right click on startup, uh, sorry, restart now. Okay. Now, when you arrive at this point, uh you have like i said from the get-go you have to make sure that all your data is straight first of all you know if you have word document all of that open make sure everything is closed and also preferably close all active or opened applications on your pc and then after which you can now go ahead and then what uh restart now when you restart the pc it will take you to the um, advanced uh, startup menu. There is a blue screen where you have some option to boot from a bootable device like a USB drive or a DVD or to do any other thing that you may want to do or like to perform, uh, to troubleshoot and then diagnostic, perform diagnostic and automatic repairs. So just because uh, my I know I say I'm I'm using the same PC to do the screen recording. So I'll simply pause at this moment and then I will use an external camera to cover the rest of the video. So let me quickly do that. All right. So as you can see, once you are here, all you have to simply do is to what is to click on the restart now. Here, just click on restart now then your pc is gonna restart 
and after restarting it will take us directly to the um, advanced startup main so let's wait for some time and see what would happen okay there we go so it has actually brought us to the choose choose an option blue screen uh, that is very scary sometimes when your pc has a problem it automatically brings you here and all that is asking you to do is to simply troubleshoot so how do you troubleshoot of course if you want to exit then you can just exit this blue screen and then the pc will restart but if you have problems and you want to troubleshoot then you simply click on troubleshoot down here and then if you want to reset your PC, do that, but know that by doing so, you are going to delete all your data and you can only do that if you want to reinstall Windows. But that's not my uh, objective, so I want to just troubleshoot. So I'll click on advanced options here. And then here we have your startup repair. So if your Windows has a problem starting or sometimes if it's a problem that has to do with let's say the windows not run if it's a problem that has to do with the windows not running properly then you can simply click on um what do you call it the startup repair so let's do that let me click on startup repair and now the pc is gonna perform some diagnose stick down is as you can see is diagnosing what my PC and after that happens the startup repair would if for instance the if after the diagnostic there are issues you would see you will be prompted to perform an automatic repair or even automatic repair would just start right away and then after which the PC will restart itself but in my case, as you can see, my PC is not really or was not even having any problem. Okay, so that's why you are seeing that they are saying what? Uh, startup repair, couldn't repair your PC. They are saying press advanced options to blah, 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 or shut down the computer. So I have two options here because my PC hasn't got any problem. That's why the, no automatic repairs were done after troubleshooting and diagnosing nothing was found diagnosing nothing was found so i could either shut down my pc straight away or i could go to advanced option going to advanced option will bring us back to the advanced startup uh, menu option and you just do the same click on troubleshoot advanced options restart or uh, what do you call it startup or whatever startup repair and after that i just shut down my pc since there are no any issues and after shutting down the pc okay now the pc is shut down and i will simply come back and press on the power button okay you press the power button for your pc to restart Okay, the PC has restarted and um, just log in. In my case, just use my fingerprint to log in. And normally, if any problem that had to do with the system not functioning properly after doing the troubleshooting and perform the automatic repair, I'm sure the problem would go. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped. Please subscribe. Bye.